this is the same kind of Bible what the uh, block is uh, as the Thompson is put out by uh, local church Bible publishers. The only thing is this one right here has um, little thumb indexes in it and um, this is the um, grain here. This is the regular size edition Thompson. So, so the, the white grain I think it's called. It's kind of stiff, stiff at it, you know. Um, anyway, put some light on here. See, it's kind of stiff, durable, gold edging all the way around. And um, the thing I like about this one is the pages are not as thin as the uh, other Thompson. They're more thicker. Well, they're a little bit thicker, at least. I guess, I, I don't know whether it's because of these little divots they cut in it for the thumb index, but it's a little bit more stronger. The only one that is not that strong is the front page. And uh, but all the other pages are a little bit, have a different thickness and they're smoother they kind of like got a, a waxy lamination glossy type you know they're like glossy pages you know let me see if I can get this thing up here so you can see it better uh, trying to see if I can hit it at an angle maybe not again this is the same as the Thompson well, they're, they are about the same thickness, I guess, but they're a little bit more... They slide off each other real good, you know. And they don't fold up as bad as the uh, one in the, uh, the local church, uh, Thompson, the one they put out. And, um, like I said, I guess that's because because of the uh, of this right here, these little divots they put in for the uh, thumb index. I'm not quite sure. But, um... I don't have a problem as well. I don't have much of a problem with this one as I did with the um, with my, the newer Thompson with the uh, local church. Uh, it could be is because of the way they this is put out, but um, you will notice that this uh, the back in here is not like the local church kind. It's um, different of course and uh, come on over here boy I think it's because a lot of ways it's because how they bind the um, book block here you can see these little seg you get little segments or what have you I guess they little miniature signatures I guess or something like that so they're kind of like like little groups of them so I think that's what makes them the pages a little bit more uh, durable as the way they're placed into the binding. See, there's the same thing on the back here. I've had this thing a little over two years now. Well, about two years. Almost two years. <laughs> uh, so, yes, yeah, I accidentally bent some pages up right there. And um, once I did, I kind of folding them back out so it's, it's not very hard for it to, to kind of settle out there. Yeah. So it's got a little bit of dings on it. And that's the bad thing about this one. It's just that uh got one little ribbon. <laughs> the, um, the binding of the local church Bible publishers, they put two ribbons in the Thompson. But I wish they would do this to the Thompson, you know. Uh, local church. Put the thumb indexes in. And uh, of course, this is the gold gilding, and they put around the stitching and stuff. And tells you it's Smith, genuine leather, Smith's own. And uh, let's see here. I think I did point out before 
this have this stitching. You can barely, you can barely see that right there. You can barely see the stitching. Just miss some. You see the thread? There you go. There, the thread right there. Yeah. You can see how it's put together. That's pretty cool. Want some ham? Let's look on a little further here. Let's see if I can find anything over here. I can't really see it too much over here. It's mostly in the front. Yeah. I guess these. Some of them they glued, some of the pages they glued in afterwards. They're like the in and the back, I suppose. But you can't really tell it here. So you can't really see the stitching there. But uh so you can if you look real closely. Let me get a sucker straight here. If you look real closely at this, zoom in, Dad, come in. If you look real closely there, you can see like little miniature signatures, and you can tell where they start and begin right there. See, little, they're little tiny signatures, little, um, pages put together about about a centimeter or two in width or something like that you can tell where they're little you can tell where they start and begin at make sure my finger ain't over the microphone see see little niches right there and you can tell where they start and begin Let's see here turn it over there it is again. Right there, right underneath that headband and tailband there. Yep. Nicely put together little Bible. Of course I got my name on it. I believe this is a Levant Grain uh, local church Bible. But you can see how it's, you know, gold gilded and all the way around the edge there. Now, again, now this is put out by Kirkbride. And uh, I forgot what the model number is, but it's just a regular hand size. And that's the same one as the, um, the one that local church Bible publishers put out. It just got a different... The, it, this is the same block. It's the very same one, but it's just a, um, it's just a different cover. That's all. And they do theirs a lot like local church does. You know. But uh, they don't have the uh, quality leather, I guess, that the uh, local church has. So. Um, you know, they're really helping them out, I guess, by selling their Bibles for cook rides, you know. So, um, anywho, thought you might want to take a look at that. Nice little Bible. But I'm, I'm more used now than I was before to the, um, to the soft leather, to the soft leather, leather, can't get it out. Bibles, you know, same kind that the uh, local church puts out, and not so much the uh, stiffies. I mean, it's leather, no doubt about it, but it's just it's a little too stiff for my taste. But um, I'm probably going to get back into my Common Man Reference Bible. I've already read seven or eight, eight chapters of Genesis. So before I get too far, far into it, I'm just going to get back to my Common Man Reference Bible, and then when I get through reading through all that, I'll probably go back into my 
local church uh, Thompson and um, read through that all the way up until the point where I started and started um, to another one kind of not completely finishing one particular one I my my, uh, my large print Thompson chain reference Bible put up by Kurt Bride I've um, I read through that whole thing so um, anyway don't know well that's all I got to say for now boy that's a bright light Ooh. hey there I'm doing a, a second review on this uh, hand size King James Version Bible 510 series Thompson Chain Reference Bible Morocco Levant Green uh, it's kind of worn down a little bit my name hush I just kind of wore off a little bit. Anyway, kind of do a little follow up on this. Um, I got it in September 2011, and it's the second time reading, second time reading through it. And the third one was dips, and they were actually thumb indexes. So as you can see, it, uh, it's kind of lost a little bit of its luster. And I was getting a little bit more dings on it. That's been there, and that was in there in my first video I made about it. <clears throat> but the actual, the, the real actual video that I should have put it in was one of my first channel videos. That's what I should have done. Uh, the first time I made the channel, Holiday Ministries. But you can see where it's been read. Most of all this down here is the, um, the concordance, the topical index, and all that stuff. So from here on up, you can see where the gold shining. That's where the um the gilding I mean. That's the Bible itself. <clears throat> of course the thumb index. And I showed yeah, you see how it's kinda creased in. It's the same thing as the tops and chain reference Bible that I showed before. Same thing as this one right here. But this one's got a uh, iron cat skin. So <clears throat> kinda fading out there. This is not faded too bad. Genuine you know, leather smith stone. And uh, still got a little impression there. And you can see where I kind of used it and things that fall, probably fall, you know, like water or something or what have you, or some, something that didn't eat in the way at it. I don't know what it was exactly. And a little scratch is there, little spots. But all together. Pretty good Bible, and the cover is getting a lot softer than it was before. Your headband and signatures there. See, the cover is a little bit more softer because they use it more frequently, whereas before it wasn't as soft. Even with that on there, it's like a board type of thing, a carb, I don't know what it is exactly. If it didn't have that on there, it would be soft like this right here, a little bit, you know, like this. But it isn't, unfortunately. So it seems to be holding up pretty good. Last time I put this in video, there's like just a main crease now. It's like all those other creases on there too. Sometimes pages like to bend over on me and stuff, so I have to straighten them out. So, still in good shape. A lot more writing in it. <laughs> As you can probably tell. And, uh, a little crease there. Yeah, that's terrible right there. I thought I might get a little bit of water laying it out there but that won't help that'll make it probably probably make it worse yeah just let it go as it is and there's some places I have a room in here because I was the first time I started reading I was going in between other Bibles this one was a particular one my fifth reading and so I didn't, you know, there's a lot of things in it underline so on this time through there will be a lot more other things I will underline and see you can see through there it's kind of I hit and miss as far as that goes. And I read pieces to it, you know. Here and there. So that's all right. Oh, okay. 
anyway. A really good book, Bible. And the model number, the issue number, or the series number, whatever you call that, is here. Somebody had gotten it confused with another one, series number. Um, like I said, I got this on, um, anyway, it's a 510 series. I got it on uh, September 2011, so I've had it over four years. And it's still holding up pretty darn good. necessary. Anyway, thought you might be interested. Yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope they come out with the um what's that again? I'm about to do another review on that one myself here in just a few minutes.